I think with this debate, you'll ever, never, ever be able to come to a straight answer. Like, I myself, I'm 50-50 down the middle. Were the forwards or attackers in the 90s better than they are now or are the ones now better than the ones from the 90s? I think you about know, this quite a lot, you know. I, 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 I was thinking I'm, about it as well. Like, when you look at when players back in the day, they were, like we said before, they're in <laughs> partnerships, isn't it? They had uh, a strike partner who do like the dirty work and they'd be able to score the goals. And it was only when you kind of saw like in this day and age, you see a lot of strikers just playing by themselves, isn't it? Lewandowski's a lone striker. That's a good question though. I would say probably the, the players in the 90s personally, football was rougher back then. There was a lot more physical contacts at the time. I think there's like a lot even more. Lazio, Lazio during the 90s was a mad team. Ajax in the 90s as well were, yeah. were a mad team as well. Uh, Patrick Kluivert on the list was for that reason as well. Battistutes mm. with Fiorentina. Looking at uh, Romario for the Brazilian teams. See these, these names. I agree with that, but I think you have to you have to look at it from all angles because I think I think with this debate, you'll ever, never, ever be able to come to a straight answer. Like I myself, I'm 50-50 down the middle. If you look at the numbers the strikers are doing in this day and age, they never yeah. used to do it. That could also be because they were better defenders then than what they are now. That's another Definitely. way to look at it. But do we think really the football, the standard of football has dropped, or has no. the game become, or has the game become more entertaining, and our players starting to score more goals? And I think, I think that's where. Um, it gets a bit confusing because we do hear all these big names and you see, you see, you've seen the Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, all the big names you mentioned. Mm -hmm. But then obviously you look at the Ronaldo, the Messi, um, Mbappe, Neymar, you look, even look at Ribéry, Robin, when they were in a shout Ballon d'Or, you look at all the top strikers of our time, our generation. And I think it's pretty close to call because you have to take in a lot of things into consideration. But for me, I wouldn't be able to put my hand on one. I'll have to be straight down the middle. What I would say for me is that I think I think they had the players before had more talent. I think there were players there there were quite a lot more players that could do much more with the football than there are now. That's what I would say. Yeah, I think I think it's another reason is because the technology is more advanced now. Now you're watching games from like six different angles. So a manager will sit you down and he'll show you uh, you know the game from so many different angles, say this is where you need to improve, this is what you need to do. This is where we want to see the improvement. Back then, obviously, the technology wasn't like that. So I think it was more, like I said, raw talent, just pure raw talent and understanding of the game. Well, there's even sports science as well. Though. Sports science makes a massive difference. It adds probably five, six, seven years onto your career. Um, exactly. Imagine, imagine if the Brazilian Ronaldo had like legitimate sports science like now, back then. Like players nowadays, they've got the latest, latest top of the range technology that recovers their muscles a lot. Down to the muscle, down to the inch of muscle fiber. If we're thinking of it that way, then that's like us saying, okay, the generation of players 20 years before that, are we going to class them as better? The generation we're talking about now probably had better technology or better chances than the previous generation to them. It's like bringing in like opposition scouting as well into it. So you get to watch your oppositions on TV every game without even having to go into like your opposition scouts office to and again analyze what their defenders are doing but something i'd like to say as well is the, the way the striker position has changed over the years trek is a withdrawn forward is a false number nine someone like uh Aris beloved francesco totti alessandro del piero no. Lionel messi from there as Legend. well no it, it's true they, they were withdrawn forwards they weren't up against the shoulder of the defender all the time they play five <laughs> ten yards back and they revolutionize the role you've had target men that you've seen there you've got goal poachers like uh, Hernandez, you've got clinical number nines like Ruud van Nistelrooy, you've got so many different types of strikers. And even like in this day and age, what would you class Harry Kane as a striker? He's not a poacher, he's not a classic target man. He's a bit of everything at the moment. So you can kind of do, he's got a lot in his locker basically. Yeah, I'd say football changed a lot. Like, you know, when Raheel was saying like, he doesn't know sort of the players before were better or the players today were better. But even like defensively, like you could say defenders are a lot better as well now in terms of like teams playing in like defensive shapes and, you know, that kind of stuff. I mean, the game is more, I don't know, I'd, I'd probably, uh, not that I've seen, obviously we can't really talk about football before we started watching it because I don't really know much. I'd probably say the game has moved on a lot. I'd say it's more tactical. The game has evolved. And I think the reason why you've got so many different strikers now is because the defenders are starting to play different. I think you look at you look at prime examples of players like Carlos Tevez in his prime, Luis Suarez, players like that. They they're pretty much proper workhorses. Like they they get you the goals and they got the technique, but they're off the ball work and off the ball movement. You look at Cavani now for Manchester United. Mm. The reason why we look at complete different side with Cavani in there is because of the amount of work he does off the ball. He's the oldest guy 
that we've got as a forward option, and yet he's putting the rest of them to shame. You don't see Marshall or Rashford do the work Edinson Cavani does. That's that's the beauty in football, really, of just being able to adapt your game every five, ten years as well. 